You may know her as Emma Decody from Bates Motel or Becky Sharp from Vanity Fair. But there is more to the English actress Olivia Cook than meets the eye. Join us in today's video as we reveal the top 10 interesting things you probably didn't know about Olivia Cook. Number 10. No acting background. Cook didn't come from a family of actors or actresses, which is not the case for many. Her father is a retired police officer who now works at Royton and Crompton Secondary School as an attendance officer, while her mother is in a sales representative position. Cook became interested in acting when she was just eight and went to the Oldham Theater Workshop. This gave her a strong enough passion for acting to launch her into a career in the field. In an interview, Cook said, I did ballet and gymnastics and then I started acting when I was eight, just doing amateur theater at a place called Oldham Theater Workshop in my hometown. Every single year I was in the ensemble. It was the best time ever, but every year when they'd called out who'd been cast as the lead, I was so disappointed because I thought, this year it's my year. I'll get the main part this year, but it wasn't every time. They did regurgitate a lot of the same people, so when they left and went to university, I was like, okay, this is my year now. But then other people would come in and they'd be amazing. Number 9. She appeared in a One Direction video. Olivia Cook also has a very interesting story about one of her first times on screen. When she was 17 years old, Liv popped up in One Direction's music video for their autumn term tour, and it was one of the roles responsible for raising her profile. In the video, Cook pals around with the boys in the band and, at one point, even gets a piggyback ride from Harry Styles. Even though this probably sounds like a teen girl's dream come true to most, Cook had a very different view on the whole thing. She told Digital Spy at the time she didn't even know who the band was, but she did it because she was paid £50. It's just a day's work for a bit of extra pocket money. There are much worse ways to make a lot of money than messing around with one of the most popular boy bands in the world. Number 8. Failed to get into Royal Academy of Dramatic Art Cook got her first agent at the age of 14, so it should come as no surprise to learn that she was already doing acting jobs when she applied to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. During one of Hero Magazine's head-to-head -head interviews, Cook sat down with I May Destroy You, breaking out to talk about everything from their early works to their current projects. At one point, Ezidu asked if Cook had gone to drama school, to which the actress admitted that although she had made it to the final round of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts audition process, she ultimately didn't get in. However, she didn't have much time to dwell on the rejection letter, saying, I didn't get in, but then got my first film straight after, so I was like, oh well. That particular first film she referenced was 2014's indie horror entry, The Quiet Ones, where she co-starred alongside Jared Harris and Sam Claflin. Well, she was not too upset about what had happened. Number 7. She cut off her hair for a role Cook started filming Me and Earl and The Dying Girl in 2014. She played Rachel Kushner, the main character who has leukemia. Cook did everything she could to show what it would be like to have such a terrible illness. She could have worn a skull cap for the scenes where the character was going through chemotherapy, but she chose to shave her head for the sake of realism. Because of this, Cook needed a $10,000 wig for her part in Bates Motel, which was covered by Fox Searchlight Pictures. Well, isn't that amazing? Number 6. She used Instagram as a dating app The actress, who stars in the highly anticipated Game of Thrones prequel, told Square Mile that she joined Instagram during lockdown because she was lonely and single at the time. She thought she could slip into someone's DMs, but no one replied to her messages. She said, I was living on my own in a lockdown and found myself going crazy. She added, I got Instagram to DM people like a dating app. I got no replies. I was going for stratospherically famous people. I was so naive, I assumed they'd see it. Number 5. She wasn't the first choice for The Sound of Metal You're really doing yourself a disservice if you haven't seen The Sound of Metal in 2019, which won the Oscar. It centers on Ruben, played by Riz Ahmed, a heavy metal rock band drummer whose life is turned upside down when he discovers that he is quickly losing his hearing despite Ahmed's excellent performances. Olivia Cook steals the show as Ruben's girlfriend and fellow bandmate Lou, though, in retrospect, it's difficult to imagine anyone else behind Lou's bleach blonde brows. Cook wasn't actually the first choice for the role, and apparently neither was Ahmed. Early reports for the film's casting listed Dakota Johnson and Matthias Schoenarts to play Lou and Ruben in the flick, a fact that Cook all but confirmed to Interview Magazine when she was asked how she got cast in The Sound of Metal. She said, I came about because another actress had fallen out of the job. I'm the king of filling in the space. She continued by joking that even if she'd been offered a part outright, they probably wanted Emma Watson instead. Number 4. She learned Screamo from a Scream Pro 
Speaking of Cook's amazing portrayal of Lou and The Sound of Metal, it must be said that she absolutely nailed the screamo aspect of being the lead singer in a heavy metal band. As it turns out, this is probably because she had some professional help in that category. Cook said, The person who taught me how to scream, Margaret Chardayet, from the band Pharmacon, is the real deal. For those who don't know, Pharmacon is the experimental solo project of Margaret Chardayet, an underground artist from New York City. In fact, Chardayet did more than just help Cook learn how to scream and play guitar, Cook told Cinema Bond. He said, We wrote the lyrics for the song together. Even though you can't quite hear what I'm saying, she was just amazing. Number 3. She starred in a podcast with Naomi Scott and Belle Powley. Have you ever wanted to start a podcast with your friends? That's exactly what Olivia Cook, Naomi Scott, and Belle Powley decided to do in Soft Voice, a comedic thriller that premiered in 2021. The 10 episode series was written and directed by actor James Bluer. It's about a young real estate agent whose outlook on life changes drastically when the voice in her head is replaced by a more impulsive one. When discussing the project with Vogue, Cook, who plays the dark voice, broke down the idea behind the podcast explaining that, essentially, it was all about consciousness and the idea of the devil and angel on your shoulders. Powley, who plays Soft Voice, added that she was obsessed with the script almost immediately. It's such a page-turner, or I guess you're listening to it, so it's a listening-turner. Considering that it took home the Best Fiction Scriptwriting Award at the 2022 Ambies, it sounds as though Soft Voice was top-notch writing indeed. Number 2. She Loves Ponyo Very Much Olivia Cook would probably crown 2008's Ponyo legendary director Hayao Miyazaki's eighth Ghibli film as her favorite of the bunch. In an interview with the Grazia UK, Cook named Ponyo as her favorite fictional female character. She's just so gorgeous and energetic and fun and lovely. Cook enthused, I just get endless joy out of her and watching that film. Although she went on to praise all Ghibli films for their collective ability to capture humanity that is rarely seen in real life film, it sure sounds like Ponyo and Sosuke hold a special place in her heart. Number 1. She has no fear of the supernatural So far, Cook has appeared in a number of horror movies centered around supernatural occurrences. However, it's interesting to note that she has stated that she has no fear of the supernatural. Instead, Cook is much more concerned about tangible things that can cause physical harm, with the examples mentioned in her interview with DIY Magazine including both dogs and illnesses. After all, she knows that those things can hurt her, whereas she's not even sure about whether the supernatural exists or not. So, what is your favorite thing about this talented British actress? And which fact about Olivia Cook did you find the most interesting? What was your favorite role by Olivia Cook? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.